Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to my channel now from my green and white getup you might have guessed what this video is going to be about 14th August here it is and it's been 70 years since my country became an independent separate homeland for Muslims and well we're just happy that it's, it was born and it was made and it's here for us for us to have our own separate nationality and uh, you know to have to have a country on our passport <laughs> that's lame Anyways, it's, it's, when I think about it, it's actually very surprising that it's only 70 years old while countries around the world are like in their 400s or 500s. My country is relatively very young and I guess there are only a few, few countries that are younger than Pakistan right now. And it has been through its ups and downs and sometimes we fell on our own, sometimes we got pushed by others, but here we are still standing tall and proud and uh, having yet another sweet happy happy birthday really i have my exams going on really right now when i'm actually in the mid of my pre-professional exams but i really wanted to have this chance to say some things about pakistan i know well the thing about pakistan is that it goes really fast the things go from good to bad to very bad very soon but as long as we keep hope alive it always changes for the better and that's that's what kind of my message is going to be for today to keep hope alive and to stay hopeful and one day there'll be such an amazing and awesome change that's going to like shock everyone and most of all is going to shock pakistanis because there have been times when we've given up hope but it still brings a smile on our faces and we say that we're from Pakistan. To my dear, dear Pakistanis who might be watching this, I just wanted to um, quickly give you a few things to remind you a few things of why we should be proud of Pakistan. Pakistan holds the largest ambulance service there is in the world. Pakistan has the world's largest ambulance service that's free of cost and is helping our people all over nationally and internationally pakistan has the world's largest seaport and railway networks it is um it has fourth biggest broadband internet service pakistan has the world's best trained air force officers it was the first muslim country to attain nuclear power status we are also the world we are also the world's biggest producer of mangoes so watch out world those mangoes you might be cherishing are from pakistan also, football that you love to play so much, more than 50% of the world's footballs are made here in Pakistan. And coming to talented people, I can just keep going on and on. We have had such amazing and hugely talented people. World's best class hockey player, Samuel Khan, was a Pakistani. The world's best, uh, the world's best calligrapher and artist, Sadi Khan was Pakistani and this the list just keeps going on and on and I'm so proud of having been part of the nation where these people were also born. Our militia is so strong and um, our doctors are so smart, they're all over the world and I am truly humbled and mesmerized by these people and it makes me want to be a better Pakistani and to prove to the world what great people Pakistanis are. To my dear, dear Pakistanis who might be watching this, I just want to um, tell you guys that I can, I can feel it and I can see it in the bright young minds all around me from Koita to Karachi to Peshawar to Lahore and to Islamabad, this, this strong desire in our younger generation and in our generation to get the respect of the world and to make others envious. And I'm sure that this is the desire that is going to push us from being a developing country to a developed country. I can see it in the eyes of all the doctors and engineers and lawyers and architects and scientists and artists and artisans all around me. This desire to make our country, our homeland proud and to make the change that is going to keep things going for the better and make it such a beautiful and safe and nice and amazing place to live in. I can see a pulsating, dynamic new Pakistan emerging and I tell you, if you look a little closely, you can see it too. So on this 14th of August 2017, let's, let's promise ourselves that 
this independence day we decided to be independent of fear and depend on courage instead we become independent of lying and depend on truth that we be, we become dependent on hard work and that we become independent of this foreign aid that we're having and we rely on our own skill and rely on our own intelligence and hard work and resources instead and so on this day let's promise ourselves that we are going to fight and overcome any adversity that comes our way so on that note happy independence day to all my dear pakistanis i know that being a muslim and being a pakistani means a lot to us the love for one's country and the willingness to die for it is a part of a muslim's faith i am a muslim and my country is pakistan how can i not love it how can i not be ready to do all that is in my power to make this country strong and proud how can i not do everything that's in my power to make this country proud of me and to thank it for all that it has given me it has given me a place to live and it gives me it grows the food that i eat and it it gives me all it brings me great joy to be a, to be a pakistani and i I, I cannot express it in words. The, the love for one's country, it's, it's not something that you can put into words, but it's something that you can rather put into action. And I hope and I pray that any one of you who might be watching this, that you do the same for your country, that you'll make it proud and that you promise yourself to devote yourself to this nation or whatever nation that you're from, just devote yourself to it and thank it because we cannot even think of all the things that our countries bring to us. What would you be if you if you'd have the nationality? It's unimaginable. And so I I come to this note that I'm hugely hugely grateful and thankful to Pakistan for everything that it's done for me, all the things that I know of and all the things that I cannot even think of. Thank you, Pakistan. And so happy 70th Independence Day. If you like this video, maybe share it and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.